Hello, TypeTrace here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload and submit videos to Adobe Stock. And we will also talk a bit about how to properly render videos in Premiere Pro, so it's ready to submit to Adobe Stock. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to open Premiere Pro and import our video. So open the program and just press on this new project. Let's call this Adobe Stock Video. And just press OK. And a new document is now created. Now we want to import our video. So do that by finding your clip. And I will choose this clip in this video. So let's just take this and import it into Premiere Pro. You can just drag it right here. The file is now imported. Now you want to go up in sequence and sequence settings and just look what the resolution is. I record this in 4K, so that's why these settings are set to 4K. If you recorded your clip in HD, this probably looks a bit different. We'll just press OK and let's watch our clip. As you can hear, there is some background noise and we don't want to upload that. So you can remove it by selecting the clip, right click and choose Unlink and then press on the sound and just remove it by pressing the backspace. And now the video is without sound. Let's say this is good for now and we are ready to upload our video. So now we want to render the video. Just make sure to select the right video right here. Do that by going up in File and choose Export Media. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control M. And this window will pop up. The first thing we want to do is to set the format to H264. Next we want to set the preset and I typically use either this if the video is with sound or this Adobe Stock 4K if the video has sound. In this case this video is actually 4K so I will choose one of these but if your clip is in HD I would suggest using either this or this. So let's choose this without sound 4K. And as you can see, the export audio is now removed. But now there's actually also these black boxes right here. So we want to go up in source, scaling, and choose this one. And select scale to fit. So the video will be scaled so it fits. After that, you also need to choose the output name. And that is the place where you want to save the video. And let's just press on this one and choose a folder where you want to save your video. I'll just select this Adobe Stock video and let's just press save. And now you actually just want to either queue it or export it. And in my case, I'll just export it. If you have a lot of clips uh, that you want to export right after each other, I would use this queue button. But in this case, we only have one clip. So just press the export and the video will now export. The video is now exported and we are now ready to upload it to Adobe Stock. I've logged into the Adobe Stock website as you can see right here. The first thing you want to do is to press on the sell button. And press on upload. Now if you have images or vectors you can just drag them right here. But when it comes to videos, you need to do something else. But the first thing you want to do right here is to press on this blue text. And this will pop up. Then you want to open FileZilla. If you haven't already this program, it's totally free. And you can just go and download it. When FileZilla is opened, you want to copy these three codes in the boxes right here. When that's done, you want to press on this connection button right here and just press OK and it will load a bit 
and when you can see this folder right here, you are logged on. You want to select the exported file and drag it into FileZilla right here. As you can see, the video will load right here and the file is uploaded. Now go back to Adobe Stock and close this and go up in this new here and you might want to wait a few minutes before you can see the video. So just wait one or two minutes and refresh the page. And as you can see, the video is now ready in here. And if you press on this, you can see a preview of it. Now it's time to do all the metadata. So you can start with the file type. It's video, of course. You need to choose a category for the video. Let's set this to landscape. Now you want to set this to English if you are writing in English. Just press no on this. If there isn't any recognizable people or properties. And let's give this a title. We can call this green wheat field in the wind. And you also want to add keywords. Adobe Stock has already suggested 20 of them, but uh, it's totally up to you what keywords you want to use. If you press on this, you can see them all in once and you can start adding or removing keywords. Let's say I'm happy with this. So now let's submit the file and do that by pressing on this button up in the right corner and press send. And as you can see, the video is now submitted and the video will now be reviewed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful and you learned the basics of how to upload a video to a dope stock. And make sure to comment down below what you want to see next time. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.